hang on a sec, I need to put some chapstick on. Hello YouTube. Ah, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara and I'm a fourth year student of Celtic and Anglo-Saxon studies at the University of Aberdeen. So in my last video, you could see that instead of uploading the promised Fivey, not Fivey, Tolbooth um, spirit uh, box session, I uploaded a women's march for International Women's Day, which was on the 8th of March 2020. So, yeah. And in the meantime, while I was organizing it, I realized that it is not easy organizing these like large scale events. Oh, it actually kind of like really exhausted me and drained me. Um, I love doing it and uh, it was really, really nice to see how everything just kind of like fell into place. But I just kind of, while I was organizing it, I was film, filming myself kind of going through the process from day one, where I was like, okay, I just had this crazy idea that maybe a few girls could get together and we could all perform um, Un en tu Camino, which is the Chilean feminist hymn. So let me tell you a little bit about the context of this song. So this is a Chilean song that went viral last year at the end of 2019. And one of the biggest issues that the song addresses is victim blaming. How a woman will be blamed. So like many of us will go to court if we've been raped or harassed and they will ask, oh, were you drunk? And if you say yes, that's it. That's it. I know people that have been in that situation or like, but wait, how were you dressed? It's kind of like, does that matter? Like, does it matter if I was drunk, if I was unconscious, if, if I was sleeping, if I was in a bikini or if I was like, yeah, does it really matter? Like I was raped. I did not consent to this. And um, the thing is, uh, you're not safe from a rapist because a rapist will rape you whether you are at home in your pyjamas, which by the way, that is when the majority of rapes happen when you're at home in your pyjamas. Like literally, like the least sexy, the least like, you know, you're not even drunk you're, and, and, and you're still gonna get raped, you know? People in the 1800s, 17, 1600s, you know, when they were wearing like these long frocks down to the, down to the feet and stuff, and they were covered in every, like it had like layers and layers and layers and layers of clothing, they were still getting raped. They were still getting raped. So, that argument about like, well, you were asking for it is total bullshit. I'm sorry, that's total bullshit. You know, I thought, I really thought this had to be done. This had to be done, not just for um, for us here in Aberdeen, but for the women everywhere that had, that had been a victim of some sort of abuse. So, yeah. Someone commented on my last video saying that um, they did not think it was ethical to sing a song, Chilean song, when like I'm not Chilean or it's not even, you know, we're not even the same continent. And I think, I see where they're coming from. I, I really do. And to be honest, the, the majority of us in the group that performed this song, we were either South American or we've lived in South America, or we've got some kind of connection. So yes, I'm not uh, South American, but I just wanted to show support uh, for the cause. And I wanted to show support for, um, yeah, like not just, not just people, like women in South America, which need support and desperately need for things to change, but like for every woman all over the world. So, um, it wasn't supposed to be cultural appropriation. It was just gonna be like, more like appreciation. Like, I'm saying like way too much.
no country is a safe rape free haven or harassment free haven you know and i don't know one girl i don't know one girl who has not been a victim of some sort of harassment at the hands of a patriarchal society not one so i was like what a better way to celebrate Women's Day than by doing this, you know, getting some women together, learning the song, doing the dance. I think it was gonna be like really, really beautiful. That same day, I went to the hub and I was like, the hub is like this place in, um, on campus. That's like the first place I would go if I had like a problem in uni. So I went there and I was like, look, I want to do this, but I don't know if it's legal. I can't do it in Aberdeen City because, you know, you kind of need some like permission from the city council to like hold a large scale event. And I don't want to be responsible if something happens to anyone, you know, and they were like, OK, let me get back to you. And they gave me this email uh, to message a Karen. And I was like, hi, um, I'm typing. <laughs> do you mind if I do like this thing? It's going to be like on monday the 9th of march blah, blah, blah. and they were like a few days later i received an answer they were like yeah sure do it go for it and then i was like okay cool so i can i've got the permission i can now start campaigning for this so i reached out to different societies i reached out to the amnesty society the hispanic society the mexican society because obviously i needed spanish speakers to do the thing and as the thing as the progress wait what as the planning process progressed, <laughs> um, I was I started filming me kind of having breakdowns. Partly the reason I filmed this was because I want to remind myself of how hard things can be and how we don't realize how hard they are until we're in the situation. And then we kind of forget. Everything goes fine, you know, everything runs smoothly, we forget. But you can see in these videos how much I stressed out and I think I even cry in one of these clips I'm like I look back and I'm like oh cringe you know I look back and I'm like what was I doing Lara girl get your shit together enjoy good morning i'm currently getting ready um to go out today and I just wanted to say that I posted the event on Facebook last night and it's already got like almost 40 people so I'm really excited. Um, I was telling a few friends last night about my whole idea and they were so supportive of it like we were just like drinking our wine and just being like oh yeah like we're all so in and we're all like loving this and yeah I'm I am very 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 grateful to all of these women that want to join me Oh, we'll see and I'm not gonna be alone anymore because I told myself that even if no one was gonna come even if it was just like me or me and a few friends doing this I was still gonna go and do it like I, I don't care if I show up and it's just me because I think it's something that needs to be done and it's something that means a lot to me so uh, whether we're like one or 100 or a thousand I'm still gonna do it but yeah at least now I've got um different people that want to come so that's amazing and yeah I'll keep you updated Hey guys, so this morning I woke up and I found that on the Facebook page we already have 95 people that are either coming or interested in the event and I'm, I mean, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I literally posted this um, just over 24 hours ago and we already have 100, almost 100 people, almost 100 people and um, I'm kind of, I'm really excited, I'm really excited because that's just a lot better than I ever expected. But I'm also kind of nervous because now I'm going to have, have to find another venue for the rehearsal because the one that I was thinking of um, only holds up to um, 50 people and obviously we're like almost double that. Um, if this week more and more people keep um, keep signing up for this, um, we're gonna need a much, much, much larger venue, a much larger venue. Um, so yeah, yes, I'm thinking of um, 
getting in touch with the university again trying to see if this is still legal because last time when they asked me when I asked for permission they um, they asked me how many people are you expecting and I said I'm um, maybe around 30 maybe 40 and now it's a hundred it's a hundred and we still have another week until this is happening so more and more people could be jumping on the bandwagon which is absolutely amazing amazing it's amazing but I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a larger venue and I'm gonna need to be really organized because it's not the same um, teaching 30, 40 people how to do this dance than 100 or 200, 200. It's amazing though, I, um, I've been looking at everyone who's interested and who's coming and they're all women. Even though I specifically said on the uh, description that men were also welcome because obviously feminism is not a fight against um, men, it's a stand against sexism and if you're a man and you're not a rapist and you're not, and you're not a harasser and you're not abusive then we don't have a problem with you. Come and fight with us, like come and support us. Um, but you know what, like my friend Natasha, she's always absolutely right, when we get together magic happens and it, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so grateful for all of the girls that have helped me out until now. Um, with their societies because like we're all presidents of different societies which is great and all of the women and girls that have come across this event on Facebook and said you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like, go because I want to support this cause so yeah I will uh, update you <laughs> when I've done something about this and if there are more people that are coming but yeah thank you um, and I'll see you next time Okay, so it's uh, Wednesday the 4th of March and um, I've had to ask some of my friends in my society, the Pagan Society, to help me out because if over 100 people, maybe even 200 people are going to show up, I'm going to need help, as much help as I can get to manage them and to make sure that they all know the um, choreography. So I've asked um, some of my friends and they're all happy to help. The problem is that one of them has to go back to the United States immediately um, because of coronavirus or whatever because she's an exchange student so I'm gonna have to find someone else and even so um, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do like I don't think four or five of us is enough so I'm gonna have to recruit even more people but we'll see we'll see um, at least I have some help now at least I'm not alone in this so it should be okay, I hope. I really hope. Okay, so hello everyone. Today is Thursday the 5th of March, I believe. And the Women's March is in four days. Friday the 5th. Yeah, in four days. I've got 220 something people coming uh or at least that's what they say on facebook there's um i had another idea and it was having the rehearsal in the fields behind king's college but i don't know if that's going to be possible because someone might be playing rugby or something so that will completely ruin the idea um yeah anyway anyway tonight i'm going to speak with the um hispanic society in in a pub so hopefully i will tell everyone what this is about if they haven't seen the event um because i need more spanish speakers to sing this song Whew, okay um i'm on my way to campus now i'm gonna meet my friends um to rehearse the dance for monday i'm also gonna um teach them the song to see if they can learn it and if not we're just gonna have to roll with it it's fine it's fine it's fine oh, i keep telling myself that as a mantra and i also keep telling myself that you know i can do this i can do this fine and just gonna have to believe that it's gonna be fine i'm gonna have to believe if i if i don't believe it myself no one else will believe in me and i really need them to so see you next time okay so um i just got back from the um social with the Hispanic Society tonight and it was amazing. 
I met the girls that I've been in contact with on Facebook in real life and they were oh, the loveliest girls and I just feel like we had such a good vibe and um, it was just really nice to um, meet up with the people that you know are gonna be there um, on Monday and just like share experiences and share ideas and stuff and it was absolutely great and I just feel a lot 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 more positive about that and I also managed to uh, meet up with um, my friends and the girls from my society that are gonna help me like just kind of shepherd everyone on Monday and now that I can genuinely see that I'm not alone with this it's a very comforting it's a very comforting feeling knowing that it's just not gonna be me and 200 people it's gonna be like me my girls helping me and these like lovely lovely beautiful girls who are gonna be there as well and yeah we just had like really really good vibes we really really good crack and yeah it was really nice we're all really looking forward to monday and we've got plenty of ideas as well so stuff that we're gonna do on the day and you know what i'm just feeling like very happy very confident and you're just so up for this so up for this I honestly cannot wait for Monday. I cannot wait for Monday. I forgot to tell you last night that my megaphone arrived and we're gonna go all out, you know, go big or go home. I'm just gonna bring my megaphone and scream stuff. Yeah, other girls are like uh, bringing blindfolds and uh, green scarves to support like abortion in Mexico. There it is. Megaphone with siren. Here we go, I'm just gonna open this. Hello, hello. <sighs> okay, I'm in the uh, university library bathroom and I just wanna cry to be honest. Apparently there's like a picket line going on on Monday, the day that we're gonna do the, the thing, the performance and I don't know, like I've been asked by a few people, by two people to either change the date or the location. But the thing is like, I can't really change the location because if we're gonna do it outside the university, I I need um, permission from the city council to do something in Aberdeen. And I'm not sure I can do that. Like literally on a Friday, it's Friday. They're not gonna replay until Monday. Like, I'm changing the date, like getting, 250 people to change the date for it i just don't think it's gonna work i just don't think it's gonna work i don't know i'm like i don't know what to do should i should i just carry on as planned should i change the time should i change the date i can't change the location okay so i gave myself around like 10 seconds to like just freak the fuck out and then i went to the hub got the um got the contact email and number of UCU who um, are the ones organizing this picket thing and I'm gonna email them I'm gonna call them I'm gonna pest them and be like if there's any sort of way we can work together like hey we're both fighting for like people's rights okay we're both fighting for women we're both fighting for equality so um let's work together let's sort something out and uh, Please let the professor that want to like participate in my women's march come. So yeah, that's the whole idea. I'm gonna sort this out. I'm gonna sort this out. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Right, so it's 10 to 11 on Sunday. Tomorrow is my women's march, finally. And I'm exhausted. I was in Glasgow this weekend. That's why I did not film and i am very nervous because i don't have a venue yet because the room that i wanted is too small and i've got like 260 people you see you replied to me tonight they said they were really interested in um in my event and that like they would love to join if um like well some of them would like to join after they do their picket which finishes at 11, so that's from 8 to 11. I put on my Facebook group that like, if anyone wanted to just go and support them, that they would be there and maybe they will want to come to our thing at, sorry, I'm so tired, at uh, one or at 12, just for the rehearsal, of course. But yeah, it looks like, right now it's looking like we're gonna have to do it outside. It's, it's looking like we're gonna have to rehearse in the fields, so.
well that's that i do hope like deep down i really hope that um someone was gonna email us tomorrow morning and say you've got the butcher gym hall and we will be able to rehearse there because that would be the best possible venue we could get i think i'm kind of nervous but i'm also kind of not i just really want to salute man Oh, and UCU is the, does want me to come and speak to them at some point, so that's super exciting. It's really exciting. Um, um, tell them about the performance. Tell them about our own thing. They want to um. They want us to, like they want me to like maybe show them the video or do a demonstration, and if by that point we can do the video. Oh yeah, update. I finally got a photographer who's going to film for us. That's fantastic. The only problem is the venue. Otherwise, things are just going really great. So I'm sitting here complaining. But considering everything, it's been a big success. Okay, so today is the day. Yeah, I just need to get dressed now. Get to uni. Print out the lyrics. Go uh, pick it with UCU because I also support um, Equal Pay and then we're gonna kill a shit. Okay, I just met up with the photographer and uh, yeah, he's setting up and I need to get back to the rehearsal room because we've been practicing out there for almost an hour now and everyone's confident, everyone knows the lyrics, everyone knows the routine and some more Mexican girls or Hispanic girls are joining us at 1 p.m. for the actual performance, but they already know the lyrics and the dance, so we should be fine, like absolutely fine. We already have like, I don't know, maybe 60 people in the room. Um, so if another 10 come, then that's plenty of people. So I'm, I'm like chuffed, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed. Okay, so um, that was it. it. It has been done, it was done. I've got my shirt back on, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I still have this massive slit in the middle, but I look somewhat normal now and I'm really happy. Lots of people came out to see us, lots of people came to participate. Everyone was like filming us and putting us on their stories. So it was really, really, really good. I'm really happy. So yeah, <sighs> now I need to go back to my normal life, normal dissertation life, um, write my thesis, practice my old Welsh keep up m with my society stuff um so yeah but things can calm down for me a bit so yeah i'm gonna go back to my studying i'm in the special collections center so yeah thank you for watching this video okay so that was everything i hope you enjoyed these uh videos in the end everything went really 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 well yeah we weren't as many people as i thought we were gonna be but in the end that was a that that worked out for the best because we could use the room that i that i had actually booked i think in total maybe we were like 60 people or something which that's great you know that's all i needed and then so so many people came to watch so even if they didn't want to participate in the dance and the song they they came to support and i thought that was really really nice i was very grateful i wanted to film the rehearsal but um it was so emotional um you know everyone that was there just kind of like opened up about like our own experiences as a woman in in the world and we were these women from like different countries and different backgrounds and yeah just different down different life paths that and we kind of we came together as one kind of like as sisters in arms and it's kind of like it was a really 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 beautiful really intimate moment and that's why i did not want to film any of that the best thing that came out of this experience wasn't just the video that we made wasn't the performance what was really beautiful about this event was the rehearsal and just like having so many women come together share their experiences share their story yeah listen to each other be listened be like feeling understood i think that's one of the things that as human beings we all want we all want to feel understood we all want to feel seen it was a really really beautiful moment and i think we all felt it 
and that's why at the end of the video which i will link down below don't you worry um we were like hugging each other and just kind of like you know it was very very beautiful so yeah i'm so happy i did this i yeah i i actually did was not entirely sure i was gonna go through with it at the start of the planning uh process but it happened and it was amazing so i will leave the link to the women's march down below go watch it and you know and you can be part of this experience as well because maybe you will feel how we felt when we performed this and uh yeah so thank you for watching i promise next video will in fact be about the Tolbooth Museum and how haunted it is.